Hello and welcome to the channel. My name's Bob and I wanted to do a video on this blanket you see before you today. It is a Wool of the West, 100% wool blanket. Quick history on the company. Portland Woolen Mills was founded in 1898 and quickly became a large woolen goods manufacturer here in the U.S. They sold blankets and other items to the U.S. government, U.S. Army. They were used in World War I, World War II, and by 1950, they were one of the largest manufacturers in the U.S. This particular blanket, if you take a look at it, it's got like the ivory, off-white ivory, red, yellow, and green stripes. Fantastic blanket. Great thickness. It's a little lighter than my Hudson Bay Point blanket of similar size but it is so comfortable and it's a great option for like a summer night or, or early fall if you want a wool blanket you want a little extra comfort a little extra extra warmth to take along with you such a good option now this particular blanket we know was manufactured in 1960s or earlier because the company shut down by that point they claimed it was because of rising costs but we may never know but it is in great shape it doesn't have any holes and like I say, every time, it depends on the particular blanket that you find. This one was taken care of. So pay close attention to the loft, if you can see the wool coming up, and then look really closely for any holes because that, that's a good sign whether or not it was taken care of. If you find one of these blankets in good shape, go ahead and snatch it up. They're a great option for the cabin, for camping, to throw on your couch, keep it next to the fireplace classic vintage wool blanket made in America. You can't go wrong with that. Wool of the West. One sheep, two sheeps, and that's it. You only need to count two sheeps with this blanket before you fall asleep. All right, if you look at the thickness of this, it is Roughly as thick as a licorice rope, maybe Twizzlers, maybe a little thicker than Twizzlers. Could be two Twizzlers if you smash them down. Fantastic thickness. The stitching on the edge looks like this, keeps it from fraying. And uh, I always like that on the blankets, especially if you're gonna use them a lot. Um, really great blanket, awesome colors. This is only my experience with this particular blanket. I hope you guys have a good experience and let us know in the comments. Thanks for coming by. I hope that helps if you're interested in these blankets and you just wanted to know a little bit more. Also, if you've got one of these, you came across one, tell us in the comments, was it awesome? Did it stink? Did you have to wash it three times before you could use it? Just let us know. We, we want to hear your story and uh, your experience with them. But, all right, that'll be it. I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you. It was a bit of cold winter, and all we had was the wool of West blankets to keep us warm. As the cars and motorcycles kept driving by, messing up the audio quality of the video. Yes, if this is all you had on a winter night, you may live, but you would be miserable. It is a warm blanket, but it is definitely not the same as a zero degree sleeping bag. I had to watch this twice because it had a funky smell and there was some gum. Someone got gum on it. It was delicious. It was bubblicious gum. I like just chewed it right off. Delicious gum. <laughs> anyway, I know that there's a Wolo West blanket, but is there a Wolo East?